good morning everyone and a very warm welcome to our spring virtual open morning here at Bede Senior School. My name is Alex Murphy and I am Assistant Head in charge of Pupil Welfare and Head of Legat Dance Academy. I've been teaching at Bede's for nine years and was recently a housemistress of a girls boarding house. I believe that Bede's is special because we really do offer an individualised approach to exceptional learning and we consider the pupil to always be at the centre of all we do. And I'm excited to show you today all that Beads has to offer. Beads is so special that my own children attend the school and I would not want them to be anywhere else. Normally, on an open morning, we would be welcoming you onto the campus, matching you with the pupil tour guide, entertaining you with music and dance in our recital room and giving you a good look into life here at Beads. Although we are having to do things a little differently today, we hope to be able to convey to you just how extraordinary this school is. If you have any general questions during the morning, are experiencing any difficulties joining the breakout sessions or one-to-ones, please email welcome at beads.org and one of our team will come back to you as soon as possible. I will shortly be handing over to our headmaster, Peter Goodyear, but before we do, I want to run through the structure for the morning. In a moment, we will be hearing from our headmaster. Then you'll be coming back to me before we take you on a virtual tour of the school. After the virtual tour, you'll be back to me briefly before you leave to join one of our breakout sessions, which start just before 10 a.m. You will have received the links to the three breakout sessions, which you will need to click on to join. We recommend having these links to hand before we get started so the morning runs as smoothly as possible for you. We have a breakout session for first year, sixth form and boarding or international pupils. Don't worry if you would like to see more than one of these breakout sessions as they will be available on our virtual open morning website and we will be sending you links to these after the open morning itself. Then. After your chosen breakout session has ended, we will have a short break before one-to-one -one appointments begin between 10.30 and 12.30 a.m. These appointments were pre-booked, so anyone who has made an appointment, please use the links from the email you will have received at the time of booking. If you did not manage to book an appointment with a member of staff and wish to make arrangements at a later date, please email welcome at beads.org. If you have any general questions during the morning, are experiencing any difficulties joining the breakout sessions or one-to-ones, please email welcome at beads.org and one of our team will come back to you as soon as possible. I would now like to hand over to our headmaster, Peter Goodyear. Thank you everyone and I will see you afterwards. Good morning and welcome to Beads. My name is Pete Goodyear and I have the honour and the privilege of being the headmaster of this wonderful school. I was very much looking forward to welcoming you all to Beads in person this term and I am genuinely sad that you are unable to be with us on the school site today to give you that very real opportunity to feel for yourself the warmth of relationships that makes Beads such a remarkable school. And although our community is scattered across the globe at the moment, I am genuinely committed to ensure we maintain our strong sense of belonging. That said, I hope that our presentation and the people that you will meet today will offer you a genuine insight into Beads. Beads is an exciting place. And we are proud of our exceptional educational provision. We are ambitious for all our pupils and have a true sense of adventure and the extraordinary accomplishments in all areas of school life during the pandemic crisis have been genuinely impressive. We truly delight at the opportunity to do even more, to be even better in all facets for all pupils. Beads is that place where every child can both find something that they will relish in 
and where anyone, no matter who they are, can succeed. And I feel that success is not the key to happiness, but rather happiness is the key to success. And as such, if you love what you are doing, you will be successful. This is beads. And what I love is that teachers here know how to help children find their passions and how to nurture those. This approach to schooling is slightly different to that found at many other schools, not least because it puts the pupils and their choices at the center of what we do. And you may well be thinking, well, how does this all happen? Because underpinning everything we do is the idea that being happy and finding fulfillment outside of the classroom is not only compatible with academic success, but they must go hand in hand. We know too that the measure of success will be very different for each and every Bedian, because every child is an individual, unique, with their own skills and talents. For some, these are immediately apparent, but for others, they will take a while to bring to the surface. But whichever the case, everyone at Beads is determined to promote distinction for all. Education, to me, can be a peculiar journey. We set out not completely sure where we are heading. And consequently, there is the very real danger that we journey through education, we become preoccupied with the end goal obsessed with reaching the top of the mountain, when all the while what we should really be aiming to do is enjoy the climb. And through this pandemic, we have captured the essence of self-regulated learning with a real appreciation that it has provided us with the chance to build resilience and adaptability within the remote classroom. It has enhanced our commitment to encouraging independent learning and drawing the world of work and education closer together through the use of digital technology. Our houses truly nurture pupils, instilling in them a strong spirit of solidarity and loyalty. That house system at Beads sees pupils participating in an incredible range of keenly contested inter-house activities, providing something for everyone and culminating in the awarding of the much sought after House Cup, which ensures that every pupil's contribution is both important and valued. There is no doubt that one of the strengths of the Beads community is its strong relationships between pupils and between pupils and staff, and the bonds that these create make for a genuinely warm atmosphere. And as a school, we recognize that we have a wonderfully diverse staff and pupil body, and we embrace that diversity through a genuine belief in inclusivity. And this is a school where you will feel genuinely welcomed. My family and I are extremely fortunate to be members of this very caring community. I can say with assurance that we all, teachers, pupils, parents and support staff share a collective pride in one another's endeavours and that we all have a collective pride in our school's achievements. We cherish the best of education. As a result of this, Beads carefully blends rigour, ritual and informality to create a school where the young and the not so young support each other in a positive, vibrant and happy atmosphere. There is a delightful rhythm to beads and I hope you will feel that when you get a chance to visit us. It is a hard thing to pin down, but it is a colourful and busy place with loads of energy. Beads is welcoming, kind and extremely ambitious and I sincerely hope that you will be spending a lot more time here as a part of the Beads family. Welcome back everyone. We are shortly going to take you on a virtual tour of the school here at Upper Dicker. So you can see some of the grounds, teaching areas, facilities and boarding houses. 
We hope you'll be able to visit us for a personal on-site tour very soon when current restrictions permit. And if you would like to register your interest for this, please email us at admissions at beads.org. And now everyone, it's time for our virtual tour. But before we take you on the tour, Upper Sixth Pupil Ice will tell you a little more about life at Beads. We hope you enjoy the video and tour, and I look forward to seeing you afterwards. Hi, I'm Ice, I'm a boarder in Crossways, and I study economics, history, and biology. Most of my favourite things centre around the relationships that I was able to quickly build. Um, I felt like I was able to establish a life here by making friends in the boarding community and among the day students. My favourite things about boarding at Crossways are the fact that I never have to feel alone. No matter how I feel, whether it's happy or a little bit down, I can just walk down the hall and go see someone. The school has really helped me get to where I want to be. Um, anytime I'm struggling with something, there's always a teacher that I can go to. Um, I also find that my teachers notice how I'm feeling emotionally and you know they'll ask me how I'm doing if they notice that I'm looking particularly stressed. And I think that the fact that I can go to extra sessions and talk to them one-on-one -on -one does put me at ease. One place in particular that I love to go is the Sixth Form Centre. I have the opportunity to go talk to Mr Cheshire or Miss Sutton if I need help with anything. They can always help me if I'm worried about how to approach something, but also it's just a good place to study or see friends and the coffee machine definitely helps. The setup of the Borders Christmas dinner with very small tables meant that I got to intimately chat to people that I'd never had the opportunity to speak to before, and many of them went on to become some of my closest friends. Hello, my name is Richard Mills and I'm the Registrar at Beads Senior School and I'm going to be your host today for the virtual tour. I've been at Beads for the past 23 years. I started as an economics teacher, I've been senior housemaster, head of sixth form and I've been the Registrar for the past six years. Um, today we're going to uh, wander around 120 acres of the site, uh, seeing various uh, locations such as our sports hall, boarding facilities, day houses, classrooms, etc. So if you'd like to follow me, the tour will begin. I'm now stood outside the Perrin block. Um, this uh, building consists of classrooms along the ground floor and day houses along the first floor. Classrooms uh, behind me belong to business studies and economics uh, and also government and politics and history. The class size of the beads in the uh, junior years uh, are 1 to 15 and in the sixth form we uh, have class sizes of roughly 1 to 10 as our, as our guide. So here we are in the ceramics department, which actually was uh, used to be the kennels when the school was a stately home um, many, many years ago. Ceramics um, is part of the visual arts department, which also includes photography, fine art and in the sixth form, graphics. So here we are in the sixth form centre. Uh, this has only recently been opened um, in the past 18 months. 
This is where the sick form come and uh, can get on with their work, um, socialise and um, probably the best part is that the sick form team are right next door so if they, the pupils need help with uh, UCAS applications, um, interview techniques um, or general uh, questions about uh, the curriculum, uh, the sick form team are on hand. So here we are in one of our three dance studios, which is part of the Legat Dance Academy. We're very fortunate at Beads um, because uh, dance is one of uh, a third of our performing arts department alongside drama and music. The highlight of the school year is our cabaret event, which is held in December of each year. Um, and uh, Legat, drama and music all come together to put on a wonderful extravaganza. We're now in one of the common rooms of a boys' day house. Each pupil uh, belongs to a, uh, a house. We have five day houses of beads, three boys and two girls. The day house is their family at school, if you like. Um, they have house meetings, house assemblies, house lunches, formal dinners, and um, they all take part in house competitions throughout the school year, uh, culminating in the uh, award of the House Cup at the end of the school year for the house who's won the most points, uh, very much like Harry Potter. Um, the most important part of the house is the, uh, the tutoring system. Each pupil has a tutor who they see on a daily basis and um, the tutor oversees the pupil's uh, academic progress, their co-curricular program and just making sure that they are happy, settled and enjoying life of beads and the, uh, the tutor is the person that the parents have most contact with and that's as much or as little contact as they wish. So here I am in Camberlot uh, boarding house. This is a boys boarding house, home to 65 boys. Um, from years 9 to year 13. We have five boarding houses at Beads, three boys and two girls. The boarding community is a very important part of the school. We have uh, 300 um, boarding pupils in total uh, and roughly 50% of them are from overseas and this year that's from 40 different nationalities. Um, because of our full borders, we have to have a comprehensive uh, weekend programme which starts on a Friday evening. The uh, pupils can choose to go to the cinema, they can go out for dinner, they can spend time in the sports department or what a lot of them like to do is actually chill out in the house and they have their facilities here such as pool tables, table tennis, they have kitchens uh, to make um, pizzas and cakes with the matrons etc. Um, on a Saturday they can choose from uh, an academic programme or a co-curricular programme in the morning uh, so that might be extra history or extra English or they might choose to do mountain biking um, or help out in our zoo and they can change that each week. On a Saturday afternoon they can go to the two local towns Eastbourne or Helsham and on Sunday there's always a big trip out and that's to places such as Brighton, London, a theme park, a museum or an art gallery. So here we are in our sports hall. Um, sport is a major part of uh, what we do at Beads and uh, our co-curricular programme. Our three core sports are football, hockey and cricket and we have competitive sports in netball, swimming and tennis. Alongside that we do things such as uh, rugby, uh, squash, uh, table tennis, uh, target rifle shooting. Um, but the main uh, ethos of Beads is that um, in terms of our activity programme the pupils choose activities that they want to do. Um, so we also do things as, such as mountain biking and rock climbing. Um, as well as the sports hall, um, we have a uh, fully equipped gym uh, upstairs and a strength and conditioning coach. We have a 25 metre swimming pool and we have four squash courts. 
Outside facilities include an Olympic standard um, AstroTurf for hockey. We have our uh, purpose-built um, cricket pavilion um, and first 11 cricket pitch. We have 12 uh, football pitches um, and five uh, permanent tennis courts. So here I am in the zoo at uh, Beads, um, in the Lima enclosure. Um, we've had the zoo for about eight years now. It all started because we've got three ex-zookeepers as members of staff. The year nines uh, come down to the zoo as part of their curriculum and they learn to, uh, to feed, to clean um, the enclosures um, and just generally get a sense of, um, of the zoo. Um, and then in the sixth form we offer a course BTEC Animal Management. Um, other animals include squirrel monkeys, owls, uh, kinkajous, um, uh, meerkats and marmosets. Here we are in the old dining room. If you're with me on a tour in, uh, in reality, I would invite you to join me for lunch. Um, we're very proud of the food that we, uh, that we serve at Beads and we uh, recognise how important it is for all the pupils. Hence why we have a, um, a food council and uh, the, uh, the pupils themselves are surveyed on a regular basis about the quality of the food that we serve. There's a wide variety of choice um, each day and we're particularly proud of the, uh, the salad bar that we have, um, the fruit that we uh, provide and also the, uh, the soup of the day which is a, a special favourite amongst the, uh, the pupil body. Welcome back everyone, we hope you enjoyed the virtual tour and you got a good sense of the campus and the facilities available to pupils. You don't find a zoo in many schools. I'm about to say goodbye ahead of the breakout sessions which start at 10am. The links for these breakout sessions will be on the email sent to you. The breakout sessions will feature a number of key staff and also some of our pupils who will be covering some of the frequently asked questions. Remember, if you have any questions for these panels, which are not covered, you can submit them to welcome at beads.org and we will endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. The breakout sessions will end around 10.20 when there will be time for a short break before any pre-booked one-to-ones commence. It has been wonderful being your host this morning. I will leave you with lower fifth pupil Alfie who will tell you about his experience of life at Beads. Thank you everyone and goodbye. Hi, my name is Alfie Kennedy. I'm in the lower fifth in Knights and I'm a drama scholar. I chose to join Beads in the first year just because it's got such an amazing performing arts department as well as the academics being really high and really good. This school really helped me to feel settled and welcomed by um, having a tutor who really could tell me where everything is and support me in all of the things I do and having all of the teachers who are really understanding that I was also in performing arts and helped me balance curriculum and co-curriculum. I really enjoyed studying 21st centuries in the first year carousel just because it's such a diverse range of subjects including animal management, IT and cooking. And one subject that I thought that I wouldn't like but I really really enjoyed was in the humanities carousel and was religion and philosophy because I thought it would be a bit boring but I really really loved learning about people's different views on life. I really cannot thank the Performing Arts Department enough. They've enabled me to be both in productions and working behind the scenes on productions and I've really enjoyed every single bit of it. I'm really, really proud of all of the lighting design I've done for Beads, including working on Metamorphosis, which was the German play. And I'm also really proud of how I've advanced my dance over the year. I'm so excited about Cabaret. It's always so great and I'm sure it will be even greater this year. It enables me to put together all three of the performing arts subjects, dance, music and drama, and do a musical theatre piece. 
I would say the best way to sum up my experience at Beads in three words would be exciting, aspirational and supportive. <laughs>